What's going on my fellow Elegant Savages? It's Termar Lawton, The Elegant Savage. And in today's video, we're gonna discuss the importance of shoulder mobility and how you can actually improve it. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So we know that shoulder mobility is important no matter what type of training that you're doing, regardless if it's calisthenics, bodybuilding, yoga, whatever the case may be, anything that incorporates your upper body or your shoulders, you need to make sure that you're extremely mobile in that area if you want to get the best results out of your training. And so with a resistance band here, we're actually about to work on internal and external rotation. So what you can do is I'm grabbing the resistance band with my left hand and I have my elbow tucked in against my side. What I'm gonna do is get a shoulder width apart stance, keeping the rest of my body relaxed form, keeping my core tight. I'm going to keep my elbow squeezed against my side as I pull out against the band right here, right? And I'm getting this smooth rotation. You should feel a small little burn in your shoulder. You're gonna come back in, keeping it tight, nice and slow. You're gonna come here, right? Nice and slow, this is three. We're gonna get 10 reps in. If you have a resistance band, go ahead and do this with me. Five. So the same thing as the other side, guys. We're gonna get our left hand. We're gonna go shoulder width apart with our feet and our stance. We're gonna bring that elbow in tight against the side. And then we're just gonna come in. Cross body, keeping that elbow tight, focusing, coming out as far as we can. We need to step over a little bit more. This is two. And the reason why I like doing this with a resistance band is because you're getting resistance the entire movement. Now you can do this with a light dumbbell. You don't. You definitely don't want to do it with anything heavy, maybe a five pound dumbbell. The only thing about that is the dumbbell is giving you resistance and it's pushing gravity straight down. Whereas this resistance band is coming directly horizontal across. So this is your best bet. If you really, really want to work on this movement, let's get two more in. Last one. All right, so still using a resistance band, the next thing we're gonna do is work on stretching out and getting more mobility in our rotator cuff muscles. And so how we're gonna do that, and I'll grab the band with my left hand so you all can see. And pretty much, this reminds me of my marching band days when I was a drum major. But essentially what you're gonna do is keep your shoulder all the way flattened out. So as you can see, flattened out, feet, hip width apart, shoulder width apart. And all you're gonna do is keeping this flat, making sure that you're keeping your elbow locked in this one position, not moving your elbow, you're gonna bring it back, and you're gonna go back as far as you can. So you wanna get at least 90 degrees. If you're here and you can't get any further, you definitely need to go down on the resistance and make sure that you keep practicing this at least every two days, every other day, especially if you're having pain or weakness or any irritation in your shoulder. But all we're gonna do, is just keep our core tight. And when I say core, remember, like I always said, core meaning that front, the rectus abdominis, and everything else in the front, then also your lower back makes up your core. And we're gonna get in 10. I wanna say I'm at five right now. I wasn't really counting. <laughs> Six. Make sure you're doing this with me. You should feel a burn, a slight burn in your shoulder. It shouldn't be pain, but you're definitely gonna feel a burn, especially if it's your first time doing this. Last one right here, keeping that elbow locked in, as you can see, it's coming straight back. And as you guys could have guessed, we're gonna flip over and do this on the other side as well. So shoulder width apart, I gotta step up a little bit more. Elbow locked in, shoulder flat, starting in this position right here. Keeping, I know I'm looking at the camera to make sure y'all can see everything, but keeping your eyes focused straight forward. We'll come back, keeping that elbow locked as far as you can. Slow. Slow. Get in 10. All right, so this next move is called shoulder flossing. And again, what you're gonna do is step with your feet hip width apart, keeping your neck and your head in a neutral position. All you're gonna do is take your resistance band, put a little bit of resistance on it, nothing crazy, but a little bit to go a little bit wider than your shoulder width apart. And all you're gonna do is bring it down to your waist, keeping your core tight, remember, but that means abs and lower back. You're gonna bring it overhead, touch your glutes, come back overhead, touch your waist. Overhead, touch your glutes, 
overhead, touch your waist. All right, so these next two exercises I'm about to show you all are actually done on the floor in a high plank. So this is really great if you don't have a resistance band. So this first one is very simple. It's just scapular retraction. What you're gonna do is get into a high plank, push all the way through your shoulders, and then again, you're gonna engage your scapula and actually protract. So here to here. It's a really slight movement to here to here. Here, notice my arms are locked out. So this is purely scalpel. Look, arms locked out and then protract, protract. This next exercise is called shoulder rolls and I'm gonna show you all this from the front and from the side. But what you wanna do is again, lock out your arms and get into a high plank. And all you're gonna do is protract your scapula and then roll your shoulders. So protract, roll, protract, roll. All right, my fellow elegant savages, that's it for today's video. I hope you all found this very informational. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps the channel grow. And make sure you subscribe because every Sunday at 9 p.m., I'll be dropping more tips to get you that organic strength and help you get to your ideal appearance. This is your boy Tamar Lawson, the Elegant Savage, and I'll catch y'all next Sunday. Peace.